Okay, everybody. It's sandwich time. Doing. I can't say officially until the sandwich is complete, but unofficially, it's looking very good. Very good indeed. We shouldn't be too much longer. Uh -oh. <gasps> Look out! Hey! Stop! Oh, it's moving what off! What is he doing? Sizzling saucepan! <gasps> Watch out! Whoa, it's out of control! Oh, oh, no. Quick! Ooh. Whoa, help! Izzy! Oh, no! Wait, wait, wait! Ah! Oh. 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 OK, OK. Uh, what would Tony Gold do? Uh, careful. Ah! Ah! I think I've got the hang of this. Oh, no! Ah! Oh, wait, wait, wait! Oh! <laughs> ah! No! Is he help me? Whoa, 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 watch out! Oh, there he goes. Oh, Dad! Dad! Oh, no. Dad! Dad! Uh, yeah, don't worry. I'm OK! Wow! I'm really skateboarding now, just like Tony Gull. Here he is, Shake and Shout. How on earth are you going to win the bet with Mario, Dad? I think I've got just the thing. I'm going to film it for the Shane the Chef channel. Let's get cooking. with olive oil and balsamic vinegar and you have a simply delicious tricolore salad. Here you go, Mario. I hope you've got a good football recipe, Shane. <laughs> well, I don't think I'm going to need it. Ta-da! Look, Mama! It's just like the Italian flag. Mm, mm, yum. That's something I thought I would never see. <laughs> so, Mario, do I win our bet? Yes, it's yummy. Here he is, Shade the Chef. Izzy, I'd like you to mix some sultanas and nuts with a little bit of honey. OK, Dad. Right, let's get cooking. <laughs> Okay, almost done. Now you sprinkle them with. Oh no. Dad, Dad, oh no, his battery must have run out. What am I supposed to sprinkle them with? Uh. <gasps> what about cinnamon? Eh, hey, you're the boss, but well, I mean chef. <laughs> yes, now that should work. Okay, Eddie, this is it. <laughs> Yes, we have lift off. Well, I mean, <laughs> lift down. Almost done. Just as well. I'm not sure the customers could take much more of Mario's singing. <laughs> Baked apples. Give them to me. Take them from the floor. And not from the tree. Oh, Mario, you sing like an angel. <laughs> Just like your mama. 
dessert is served. Yay! Yay! Oh, yummy. Ah, oh, are we in time for dessert? I hear the baked apples are awesome. Here you go, Shane. Thanks, Mario. Oh, look at that. I sprinkled the apples with cinnamon. Is that OK? Mm. That's exactly what I would have done. They are delicious. Here he is, Shane the chef. There you are. You've been gone ages. Yeah, you'd be surprised how tricky cherry picking can be. I'll tell you all about it after we've made the cherry crumble. What do you need, Dad? OK, we need wholemeal flour, vegetable margarine, a little sugar, chopped almonds and our lovely cherries. Let's get cooking! Look at that. Delicious cherry crumble. Back of the oven. Yay! Who's for some delicious cherry crumble? With custard. Oh, come on. Here we go. Oh, boy. And yes. me. Hey, that's my phone. Well, look at that. May think uh... it's for you. Everyone's talking about my cherry crumble. Hello. Oh, no, I lost my phone. Well, no, I didn't lose it. It was stolen by a magpie. <laughs> no, he just dropped it back. Hear me crumble. Here he is, Shane the Chef. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Shane the Chef channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to make the perfect pasta. I mix flour and eggs just like this. Then combine it by hand to work it into a dough. Ahoy there. I've got today's delivery. Oh, Sam. I'll finish filming later, Daz. Oops, <laughs> sorry about that. I didn't mean to interrupt. <laughs> no problem, Sam. Oh, looks like you've had a busy morning. Oh, hey. The early bird catches the worm. Or in this case, the shellfish. Oh, what's that you're making? Pasta. You know, it would be delicious with my special bolognese sauce. Oh, no. Seafood is best with pasta. What sauce are you making, Dad? Uh, I'm not sure. Probably something simple and fresh to show off the pasta. But my recipe is so rich and tasty. Ah, but you can't beat freshly caught seafood. But mine is a true Italian recipe. And mine is straight from the sea to the plate. Can't beat it. Yes, I can. No, he can't. Hey, let's have a cook-off in the town square. You'll have one hour, and then the customers can pick the winning dish to go on the menu at Fresh. Oh, Mamma Mia, but I couldn't. It would be too easy. You <laughs> what? With my quality seafood? I don't think so. Only a true Italian can make the perfect pasta sauce. <laughs> we'll see. Whoops! <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to love my bolognese, everyone! <laughs> Wait till you've tried my seafood pasta. One time, I fed it to the pirate Longbeard. Of course, he still wanted me to walk the plank. Here he is, Shane the Chef! Got a beat to it. Get down to the groove. What a brilliant festival. Well done, girls. Thanks, Mrs. Singh. This is what I call teamwork. Good school project, both of you. Attention, attention. And now for the main event. Allow me to introduce... <laughs> Shane the Chef. Thank you, thank you. Gather round, everyone. 
Now I want to show you what you can create from this wonderful vegetable, pak choy. I've got peppers, mama polenta's olive oil, spring onions and ginger from Maggie's stall to make pak choy stir fry. Mm. Oh, yummy. This will look great on the Shay and the Chef channel. I've also got one of Sam's fresh turbot to steam with more of the pak choy. So, let's get cooking. <laughs> There you have it. Sam's delicious turbot steamed with pak choy. And finally, a pak choy stir fry made with Mama Polenta's olive oil and Maggie's fresh vegetables. Job done. Come on, folks, tuck in. Great job, Dad. Yum. Shane, this is delicious. Something to really shout about. Uh, has anyone seen my megaphone? Nope. No. Sorry, JG. Here he is, Shane the Chef. One, two, a cha cha cha. One, a two, a cha cha cha. Ouch! Oh dear. Oh no, I thought I was getting the hang of it. Don't you worry, Shane. Just keep it simple. That's it. I know what to cook for the dance. Mama Polenta, you're a genius. Am I? Oh, Shane. <laughs> Dad, the dance floor's finished. Oh, that's great. I'm going to move the seafood feast outdoors onto the barbecue. Great. Let's get cooking. <laughs> Wrap the grilled fish with the yummy peach salsa. Delicious. Here you go, JG. I say the tortillas like a plate and a wrapper all in one. <laughs> Ingenious. Here he is, Shane the Make way for the mackerel! <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, the fish and vegetables aren't quite ready. Oh. Oh. But they are fresh. And that means I can show you how we cook a Mediterranean barbecue. <laughs> yes. So, let's get cooking. Yes, the fish is ready. Who's hungry? Yes, yes please. Please. Yes, please. Oh, this is delicious, Shane. <laughs> oh, is he? Have you got that, um... Special dish we cooked up for Sam. <laughs> there you are. Ta da! My phone! How did it get there? You left it in the kitchen. Now we can call you when you're out at sea. Mind you, I rather like the old checkered flag waving. Very dramatic. I think we've had quite enough drama for one day, thanks, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, you lot. Hi, Hi Sam. Sam. Oh, and hello, Eddie. 
<laughs> I think Eddie wants to pick muscles too. Eddie can help, but his Sammy well... knows everything about muscles. No worries, Shane. We love a bit of muscle picking, don't we, Eddie? What? I'll get the tomatoes while he shows you what to do. OK, let's get cracking. Come on. I bet I get more muscles than you. Ha! Huh. Even Eddie will get more muscles than you. What? No, he won't. Keep an eye on that tide, kids. We don't want to be stuck here when that comes in. I remember the time when we were marooned out on the settled sands for days and days and days. Can we get muscles now? Oh, yes. Brilliant. Here we go. You'll not find any mussels down there in the sand. They like clean water and a bit of rock to cling to. Just like that one there. Wow! Look at all those mussels. They're just shells. You can't eat them. <laughs> you don't eat the shell. You eat the soft, juicy bit inside. It's really tasty. Ugh, yuck. I don't want to eat them. I just want to pick them. Only pick the big ones, mind. We need to leave the little ones to grow. Just get hold of a big one and twist it from the cluster. Ooh! Perfect. Then all they'll need is a bit of a scrub and those beards of theirs taken off. Beards? Yes, they have beards, although not quite as glorious as mine. <laughs> Here he is, Shane the Shell. Oh, don't worry, Izzy. Even if your app's right, Sam can handle a bit of fog. He'll keep your dad safe. Yeah, I guess. Right, here come the prawns! Not many prawns, <laughs> are there, Sam? Don't you worry, Shane. It's an old fisherman's trick. We haul up the nets so the prawns think we're done for the day. Then they come out of wherever they're hiding. And we drop the nets back in and catch the lot. Ho, ho, ho. Right, here we go. This is the one. Oh. No. Oh. Right, one more try. Oh, I hope we catch something this time, or that'll be prawns off the menu as well. Third time lucky. That's the fisherman's way. Come on, come on, prawns. Come on, little pink prawns. Come on, please, please. Look! What did I tell you? Well, hey! Back of the net. Now that's what I call a fresh prawn. Here he is, Shane the Well, my surprise is ruined. I can't give her these headless flowers. I don't suppose you have any flowers I could use? No, sorry. All we have are vegetables. Vegetables? Brilliant! Izzy, you're a genius. Oh, look at that! What are you doing? Oh. Where is he? <clears throat> Sid, there you are. I was getting worried. <laughs> what are you up to? I've got a little surprise for you. Ta-da! Wow. <gasps> it's the most amazing and original bunch of flowers, oh, uh, vegetables, I've ever had. I love it. Thank you. But what's the occasion? Well, it's to say I love you. Oh, Sid. I love you. Oh, beautiful. Oh, it's just a beautiful. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Well, if you think they look beautiful, just wait until you taste them. Look! Vegetable chilli. Using all of the same vegetables with some wholemeal flatbreads on the side. Well Ooh, done, Dad. Count me in, Shane. And me. <laughs> Us too, please, Shane. <laughs> Yum! This is delicious. Who would have thought that these same vegetables would make such a beautiful bouquet, too? Yes, but much tastier than real flowers. 
<laughs> well, to everyone except a goat, that is. <laughs> huh? What? Yeah. Why are you all laughing? <laughs> oh, Melly! <laughs> <laughs> So, we have the mushrooms, the breadcrumbs, the onions, herbs and eggs. Are you ready, Izzy? Let's, Let's get, get cooking. Brilliant mushroom burgers all round. Tuck in. Mm. 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 Yummy. I'm not sure about this. I'm um, um, not bad. Mm. Not bad at all. Shane, have you got another? Two is rather a lot though, Mario. <laughs> it's not for me. It's my rescue dog. Here you go. Here you go, Eddie. <laughs> Mind you, I think Eddie's had plenty of burgers today. <laughs> Here he is, Shane the Chef. This is my land. But Miguel, I'm hungry. Ha 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 ha. Oh no! <laughs> you have to share. Too bad. Miguel the Marauder never shares. Oh. This corn belongs to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Get him, El Edo! <laughs> Whoa! You are vanquished, Miguel! <laughs> Eddie! Hurrah! Oh, 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 <laughs> you were all magnificent! <laughs> Especially my Mario! Mama! You saved the day, kids! Yay! <laughs> yes, Eddie. Just what I was thinking. Where's the popcorn? Coming right up. And I'm going to make corn on the cob too. Let's get cooking. Hush, please. Exciting. There she goes. It's going crazy. I think that's the last pop. <laughs> Yummy. Not so fast, Miguel the Marauder. That corner's for sharing, remember? Oops. Sorry, Nino. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, have you seen Eddie? Eddie? He saved me. What a hero. Oh, which way did he go? That way. Thanks, Jay. Come on, Mario. Right. Now to make Mario like spinach. I've got the mint, onions and garlic, plus eggs and some breadcrumbs. Oh, and the spinach, of course. Let's get cooking. <laughs> Need to let that simmer and job done. Some super secret spinach meatballs for Mario. Hi, Dad. Hey, Izzy. I'm just finishing today's menu, especially with Mario in mind. Ah, oh, well, that's funny because here's Mario and he's got something to tell you. Uh, yeah, well, I didn't mean for it to happen. There you go, Mario. Thanks, Shane. 
I thought your dad would be angry with me. But he didn't really say anything. Just made meatballs. I think Dad has a plan to help get Eddie back. Yep, just wait and see, Mario. What's that aroma? Wonderful. Oh, I'm hungry. Can you smell that? Well, look who it is. He smelled the meatballs. It's so good to see you, Eddie. I thought that might do the trick. They're beef and spinach meatballs. Huh? What? Spinach? Mmm, they're actually quite nice. Here he is, Shane the Chef. Shane, you dropped your garlic earlier. I'm just returning it. Thanks, Maggie. <laughs> Oh, you know, when I was little and I had a cold, my mum would always make me a bowl of chicken soup. It always made me feel better. When I bumped into Mrs Singh earlier, she told me that garlic was good for colds. At least some people think so. Certainly sounds better than goose grease and mustard. Oh, what about chicken soup with roasted garlic? Oh, just the sound of that makes me feel better. Achoo! Is he? There's some leftover chicken and a jug of vegetable stock in the fridge. But you still can't taste anything, Dad. What if it's like JG's porridge? It won't be, because you'll be making it. Chicken soup with roasted garlic coming up, everyone. Let's get back to cooking. Chicken soup with roasted garlic. I hope it's all right. Whoa, hey, I can taste it. Oh, I must be feeling better. Izzy, this is delicious. <coughs> Such a delicate flavour, Izzy. Mm, I feel better already. Yeah, I might not be cured exactly, but I do feel much better. I don't think we'll have to close the restaurant after all. It's all thanks to you, Dr Izzy. Thanks, Dad. Here he is, Shane the Chef. Then add a little rosemary and into the oven they go. La-la-la, la-la-la-la-la-la. Hey! Sizzling saucepans. Eddie! <laughs> Give those back! <laughs> oh! Where is that boy? Mario! 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 Oops! Gotta go! Coming, Mama! Here he is, Shane the Chef! <sighs> it won't budge! Look! A torch! Oh, my gosh! Uh, wow! What are those? Aliens! Monsters! Don't panic. I think they're oyster mushrooms. I don't care what they are. I just want to get out of here. It smells mouldy. Let us out! There we go. Great barbecue temperature. That'll be the hickory wood. Don't you mean oak? Get us out of here! I'm starving! Shh. Listen, did you hear that? I think it was Eddie. Eddie? Eddie! <laughs> Has anyone seen a Mario? I can't find him! It's not like him to miss Shane's burgers. And is he? Oh, now that you mention it, where's Eddie? Sizzling saucepans! And the burgers have gone! <gasps> no burgers? Ah, something strange is going on. Let's find the kids first. Hmm. Okay. All right. Mario! Jane! Honey! 
Where are you? Is he? Oh, no. Oh, any luck? No. Sorry. Ah, how did a burger get there? Oh, I think I might know the culprit. Oh, here's another one. Quick, follow them. I knew it. It's my Eddie. He loves burgers. But where is Mario? Thank you for rescuing us, Dad. Yes. Thanks, Shane. <laughs> well, don't thank me. Thank Eddie. <laughs> Thanks, Eddie. Here he is, Shane the Chef. Good colour. Even flesh. Lovely town. I think he likes it. Yeah, but I really hope Dad's all right. Go for the marrow. The marrow. That's it. Sorry, Mr. Oh. Singh. I'm going to need this. Uh, 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 here, Izzy. Let me help. Uh, it's going to take more than that to feed everyone. Will this help, Dad? I can't use your marrow. What about the competition? Uh, I changed my mind. Do you think you can make my marrow into something tasty? I know just the thing. You need to get tweaking, JG. Let's get cooking and tweaking. You did it! Hooray! Hooray! Congratulations! <laughs> yes, indeed. A pumpkin to be proud of. Oh, thanks. But what did Izzy want with her marrow? Roll up, roll up for Izzy's marvellous marrow spaghetti. Ooh. With very veggie sauce. Here he is, Shane the Is that our lunch? Ah. Oh. What a mess. The barbecue's here, but where's Dad? Huh? Hi, everyone. Hiya. Sorry lunch is a bit late. What lunch? The pony squashed it. Don't worry, Mario. We've managed to save some of Maggie's butternut squash, and I have the perfect recipe. I'm going to record this with the Shane the Chef channel. Right then, let's get cooking. Where's the sage? Oh, sorry, Shane. I didn't have any sage. Sage, that's it. I knew I recognised it. It's wild sage, right, Dad? That's right. Where was it? Not far. I'll be right back. Aha! There you are. Here you go, Dad. Oh, thanks, Izzy. That's brilliant. All I have to do is tear up the wild sage leaves and add them to the mix. So, let's get cooking again. There we go. Butternut squash fritters and fresh salad from Maggie's farm. OK, seeing as the winning sauce will be served in the restaurant, I should have the first taste. And I, uh, uh, I can't wait. Oh, oh, that is, that is hot. That, that, that's, that is hot. 
Settling spicy sauce buns. Well? What do you think? Just taste them. Why? There's nothing wrong with my dish. Oh! oh too much chili. Oh, oh, ah, spicy! Oh, water! Water! What are we going to feed all these people? Oh. We can't give them this. Dad, I can make a simple pasta sauce that I think everyone will like. Can you get the basil, Mario? Yeah, I'll be right back. Here you go, Izzy. Parmesan, pine nuts, garlic. And the basil. Perfect. You grate the parmesan, Dad. I'll grind everything else together in this. Let's, Let's get, get cooking. Basil pesto sauce. Mmm, delicious. Pesto pasta all round. Here he is, Shade the This empty hive will make the perfect new home for the swarm. All I have to do is open the box and give the bees a bridge to their new home. Uh, what exactly are we waiting for? There, look. All it takes is for one or two of the swarm to find their way. Wow, that's amazing. And the rest soon follow. It'll take a little while for the bees to settle in and start producing honey. Oh, but our other bees have been very busy. Would you like to help me harvest their honey? Oh, yes, please. You know, honey's more than just a food. It's an antiseptic. And it's thought to cure all sorts of ailments. Colds, for instance. It's not scientifically proven, of course. Those bees were amazing. But we still haven't decided on today's special. Uh, maybe something with honey? Of course! Why didn't I think of that? Now let's see. We've got flour, eggs, brown sugar, butter and fresh ginger. <gasps> I know what we can make. Honey cakes! Let's get cooking! Cupcakes, back of the oven. Great job, Dad. Here he is, Shade the Chef. We're back, Dad. Just in time to give me a hand. What have you done to the rhubarb? Rhubarb leaves are poisonous, so I removed them before you got here. We're all good to go. Can I film this to go on the Shay and the Chef channel? Of course. And now you're here, let's get cooking. <laughs> While that's simmering, may I introduce today's special guest, Izzy, who will make the custard to go with it. Special guest? Me? Yes, you can do it. OK. Uh, right. So, to make, um, custard, I've got, a uh, pasteurised cow's milk, 
four egg yolks, corn flour, a little sugar, and vanilla essence for flavour. So, uh... Pour the milk into the pan and heat. Oh, right. I pour the milk into a pan. Then... And while that's warming up, I'll whisk up the egg yolks, sugar, corn flour and vanilla. So, let's get cooking. Dad and custard by me, Izzy. Here he is, shade the chef. There you go, boys. A tree full of cherries, a ladder, and some baskets. Help yourselves. <laughs> oh, thanks, Maggie. There might just be enough cherries up there to make a delicious crumble for tonight. Well, it's a shame you can't help us pick them, Maggie. What are you up to today? JG said he'd help me fix the tuk tuk. It broke down again. I'm sure you two can handle a few cherries. See you later. Bye, Maggie. Cheerio! Right, let's get this ladder up. Oh, ladder. Who needs a ladder? When you've climbed as many mountains as I have, a little old tree is nothing to worry about. Stand back, Shane. Let me show you how it's done. I'm showing you how to do it properly. Ugh. Watch out! What? Sorry. Hi, Izzy. Jay and I are having a kickabout on the square. Do you want to join in? I can't. I'm watching the restaurant while Dad's out cherry picking. Well, when he's back, you know where to find us. Mario! I need you to look after this shop. Your father's driving me to the farm to get some eggs. But, Mama... No buts, my boy. Oh, get to it. Pronto. Bye, Izzy. <laughs> Your tuk-tuk doesn't sound well, does it? Hmm. I think the manifold valve needs recalibrating. I'd say you were right. It just needs a bit of a tweak. Here he is, Shade the Right, so we've got apples, spring onions, tarragon, pumpkin seeds, walnut oil, lemon and our good old friend, kohlrabi. Let's get cooking. <laughs> Have it. Delicious alien, well, I mean, kohlrabi salad. All righty mm. oh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. mm, yeah. Wow, mm. it tastes... Out of this world! <laughs> <laughs> OK, everybody. Fresh fish. Thank you, Sam. No worries, Shane. And to go with it, kohlrabi salad. Amazing! <laughs> oh, ho, ho, delicious! Oh, yummy. Oh, it's delicious. And then, Jay thought the kohlrabi were aliens from outer space. Of course I knew they weren't, but Jay, he's just a kid. <laughs> Here we go. Um, um, mm. I mean, salad from outer space. <laughs> That's funny. Ah! Whoa! Ah! Mama! Save me! <laughs> oh, Jay! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Here he is, Shay the Chef! Oh, thank you so much, Maggie. Oh, it's my pleasure. Wow! There are so many of them. See what I mean? The aliens are everywhere. It's just a vegetable patch. 
<sighs> look. They kind of look the same, but... Shh. I need to hear what Shane's saying. OK, then. Let's get these back to the restaurant. I'm glad they've found a home. It says in here that the aliens move into your home, then they control your mind and turn you into a slave. But Shane doesn't look like he's... Ooh, so beautiful. <gasps> Uh-oh! I think they got Shane. What happens next? They tell him to do what they command. Well, these little fellas are telling me they're ready to be picked. <gasps> they got Maggie too. Ooh. Come on, then. <gasps> and Dizzy! They're making them pick them up and put them in the boxes. What happens next? I don't know. I haven't read that far. Uh, um... Hurry up! Ah! Uh, then the aliens take over the whole town! Everybody in town is gonna love this. Um... Watch out! Who are you? Jay, I can't believe it. But... You were right about the aliens. Oh, alien slime! Ah, ah! I can't pull my foot up. They got me. Ah, get off! Ah, it's on me. Don't be silly. Your shoe's just stuck in the mud. Yeah, <laughs> I knew that. Paul, ah, come on, Mario. Ah. Oh, yuck! I've got mud on my trainers. Forget about that. We've got to save Munchington from the aliens. Here he is, Shane the Chef. Mario! 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 Dad, look. Mario's tissues. He must have gone this way. Oh, well spotted, is he? Isn't that Mario's lip balm? Uh-huh. And this is his water bottle. We're definitely on the right track. Mario! 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 I'm here! Mario! Thank goodness we found you! Uh... Mario, are you OK? I am now. My squirrel friend has been keeping me company. Look, here he is. Ah! Uh. Squirrel friend? Right. Yeah. He was here. He really was. Well, I'm just glad we found you safe and sound. You mustn't wander off like that, Mario. Sorry, Shane. All the nuts fell out of my bag, so I went to find them. Then I forgot which way I'd come. Well, the nuts are all here. <laughs> Let's put them in my backpack this time. OK. Now, come on, you two. Time to go. I've got to get back to the restaurant. Coming, Dad. For you, Squirrel. Thanks. Wherever you are. Hey. <laughs> Bye. So, what are we making, Dad? Well, I was thinking, simple is probably best. How about a green bean salad with goat's cheese and a few of those blackberries and toasted hazelnuts? Yes, please. please. Let's get cooking. Ducking, kids. Um, um. Here he is, Shane the Thanks for helping, JG. Oh, it's the least I could do, Shane. If only I could find you some new skewers. Never mind. I'll just have to put everything in the oven and make a lamb and vegetable grill. That's probably enough rosemary for now. Right you are. What do you want to do with these sticks? Sticks? Rosemary sticks? Oh, thanks, JG. You've just saved the day. Me? Well, what did I do? I can use these rosemary sticks to make wooden kebab skewers. Nice and simple. Let's get cooking.
delicious lamb and veggie kebabs. Mm hmm. Tuck in, everyone. Mmm, tasty. Mmm, mm. delicious. delicious. And so simple. Just like Izzy's winning go kart. <laughs> Who's for another kebab? Oh, thanks, Shane. Very clever, Shane. Using the rosemary sticks to make the skewers. Ah, it was simple, really. And simple is best, isn't it, JG? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I'll never live this down. Here he is, Shane the Chef. Yo ho ho, it's a sailor's life for me. Yo ho ho, I love being at sea. Hey. Oh, hello, Shane. You want to know if there's a cow on my boat? Why on earth would there be a... Oh, a cow on my boat! Don't worry, I'll bring you straight back. Thanks, Sam. Oh, no, it's nearly one o'clock. I'd better get back to the restaurant. Maggie will be here any minute. Shane, is everything ready? Yeah, I hope so. Oh, the restaurant looks very busy. Do you think they'll have room for us? Of course they will, Maggie. They're here. Oh, just in time. OK, this way, everyone. Wait, I, I thought we were having lunch. What on earth's going on here? Well, Maggie, say hello to your new cow. <laughs> It's all thanks to Shane and Izzy. Shane, how could you possibly afford to buy me a cow? Well, we couldn't. Not on our own. Show her, Izzy. You see, lots of people helped. You crowdfunded a cow? For me? That is bonkers. But a wonderful idea. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> Oh dear. Steady girl. What's wrong? I think she needs milking. You're right, Jay. Oh. Here he is, Shane the Chef. Oh, what a pleasure to work on your hair, Mama Polenta. See how it responds to my secret ingredient conditioner. So soft, so silky. <laughs> you hear that, Alf? Secret ingredient conditioner. Huh? Aye. Well, I'm usually fully booked, but I always find time for my favourite customer. So what do you think? Perfection, is it not? It, it is magnifico. Oh, Carlos, you truly are. Got to go. Busy, busy. So low. Oh, well, he did say he was fully booked. Alf, darling, what do you think? Uh. Is that it? Is that all you have to say? Uh. Oh, Alf, you are impossible. I'm going out. Oh, that man. 18, 19, 20. Brilliant, Mario. To me, to me. Here you go. <gasps> Mario! <gasps> oh, Mario? Uh-oh. Oh, Sam! I am ever so sorry. Are you OK? Quite all right, Mama Polenta. All ready for the Grocer's Awards Gala dinner tonight. I must say, your hair looks a treat. Oh, well, thank you, Sam. You know, it reminds me of when I was a floor sweeper in a Tokyo hair salon. You never guess what they used on the Japanese lady's hair. Lovely hair, Mama Polenta. Oh. Oh, hey, Sam. Is that fish for me? Because I need to get it started if I'm going to have everything ready for the gala dinner. Oh, yes. Right you are, Shane. Yoo-hoo! Maggie! Oh, love your hair. Oh, thank you, Maggie. <laughs> that Carlos, he really is a magician. Such a talent. Oh, what magic fingers. What do you think, Shane? Can't get fresher than this. No, that's grab for the gala dinner. Don't let it oh, get away. Golly. No, grab it, grab it. Don't let what? it get away. No. Grab it. Quick, oh. get it. No, yeah. no, no, no. Oh. 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 It's an no. oh, no. There goes today's catch. Here he is, Shane the So what do we need, Dad? A cake we need onion, garlic, tomato, kidney beans, carrot, celery and spices. Oh, and lots and lots of cabbage leaves. So... Let's get cooking!
And there we go. Job done. Back of the oven. Yay! I was hit on the head again and again by tumbling cabbages. Reminds me of the time when I was trapped in a runaway tuk-tuk full of cabbages. <laughs> Wait a minute. This is that time. Well, I can tell you now. I'll never look at another cabbage ever again. Can't bear the sight of them. So, who's for cabbage leaves stuffed with vegetarian chilli? Me, me, me. Yum. I thought you couldn't look at another cabbage. Oh, yes. I'll start that tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Here he is, Shane the Chef. There you are, Shane. Oh, thanks, Mama Polenta. Plenty of milk here. Oh, milk. Ah, what have you got there, Maggie? An udder life? Oh, I'd love to get a cow. I've got the cow shed ready and waiting. But cows are just so expensive. Oh, it'll take me years to save up enough. Oh, look at me going on. I can't stand here all day. I've got veg boxes to deliver. <laughs> See ya. Bye. Ah. Can I borrow this? Are you thinking of getting a cow too, Shane? Maybe I am. <laughs> what? How much? Oh, yeah. I see. Buying a cow from Maggie is a great idea, Dad. Hold your horses, Izzy. Really generous of you to give your pocket money, but Maggie was right. Cows are really expensive. Then let's crowdfund, Dad. Huh? Crowdfunding? What's that? We ask everyone to help us raise the money. Each person who donates to a cow for Maggie gets something in return. Oh, brilliant! You can set up an online page. Then we just have to spread the word. Hmm. Ooh. Well, sounds good to me. <gasps> Exciting! Here we go. Ooh. Oh, whoa. Aha. Three more pledges, Dad. Look. Already? I never thought we'd raise this much so quickly. It's going to be a proper community cow. People just love Maggie. That's true. She's always helping others. This is our chance to help her for a change. Here you are. Two breakfast specials. Thanks, Shane. I'm learning cow facts for when we get Maggie's... You know what? Yes! We've done it! I can't believe we raised all this money in less than two hours. Everyone wants to know when we're going to get the cow. I think Maggie's waited long enough, don't you? Here he is, Shane the Chef! Ta-da! Magnifico! Hooray! Yes, well well done, Sam. Sam, you are my hero. Oh. I'll be able to go to the annual Grocer Awards gala dinner after all. Well, with no food, there'll be no gala dinner to go to, Mama Polenta. Um, what do you want me to do with these leftover eggs and avocados? Mario, you're a genius. We can make egg-baked avocado. Let's get cooking. <laughs> I know. What a relief. And now the Grocer of the Year Award goes to Mama Polenta. Me? You mean me? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I'd like to thank Carlos, Sam, my loyal customers. And I love you all. Oh, brilliant. Excuse me. Uh, Hiya. Uh, Sam, are you going fishing tomorrow? I'd love to get fish back on the menu. I won't have time, Shane. Everyone wants my seaweed hair treatment. Yay! Wow! Yes. 
Oh. Ah. Ah. One at a time, please. 